first order thinking is recession bad. The actual thinking is, if there were to be a recession for three years, what are the central banks doing? Right, because that's unemployment rising for three years and inflation falling for three years. What would the central banks be doing? They would be trying to stimulate as much as possible because we have not had a four-year recession in, well, as long as, I think, not even the 30s, I don't think it was that long. So but let's assume it's the 1930s again. That is incredibly positive crypto because there's a right. massive debasement of currency having to happen to try and protect the world falling apart because of the debt burden. So, right. There, again, it's not about are we in recession? It is what is the outcome as growth slows? What happens to liquidity on a forward-looking basis? The fiscal stimulus combined with the basement of currency by quantitative easing. And then every time they pull the quantitative easing trigger again, it had the same effect, it has it every time. Now, they're, they're going to be a little gun shy right now because the inflation is very high. But again, market's job is to look at probabilistic outcomes in the future, not where we are today. If you look at the world where we are today, you will lose money always. I do not see big tech using Bitcoin except as a, a, a method of payment, like PayPal will accept Bitcoin um, because there's not much that can be built on the Bitcoin layer uh, on Bitcoin itself. So you have to use the light, lightning layer, and that's really for a payment system. So payments is probably the only thing. And I think they will accept it because it's a, it's a global form of money. Now, it's not the kind of money you want to spend a lot. You'd rather hoard it because over time it goes up. But, you know, as it gets broader with adoption, then yes, it can use as a payment system, but it's pretty, it's an instant way of transferring value. You know, Lightning Network's proven itself to be a super fast way of me sending you a dollar over Bitcoin rails. So I think that's really where big tech will adopt it. And I think the probability of that is about 100%. The point being is, even if they have to settle a lawsuit and get a slap on the wrist, Ripple plays actually quite an important role. It's a money transmission network and it does quite a good job of it. And it has deep connections with global governments around the world and has worked really hard on it. Um, so there, there is a reason the chain is valued as highly as it is. And it's not from specula speculation, because actually, you know, it got, it got taken off a whole bunch of exchanges because of the lawsuit. It's actually because when I use my net cast law model, the amount of value that gets transacted on the chain is very high. It's being used. So I think if you lift the the the, uh, the the legal issue, probability is is that the value of the chain increases significantly. And you know, as the world moves towards central bank digital currencies, I think the XRP network is going to be somewhere at the center of all of that. So yeah, I don't, I don't rule it out. I know it's not flavor of the day for a lot of people. I think it's a it's a big player, it's a real player, and it has its niche. I just use the same network adoption model, and Cardano has more retail adoption than it does have yet developer adoption. Yes, I know there's periods of time where you see a bunch of developer adoption come on the chain, but until we start to see an applications layer that is getting gaining traction, um, then it will remain less of a focus to me. I have owned it on and off. Um, I don't own it. Um, but Again, I don't wish it ill either. You know, if they get something with a killer app, great. If they don't, it's not going to win the game. Simple as that. It's the same for everybody. I don't know how these layer two plays out, where the value accretes to. Um, you know, I know all the, the smart people are all looking at the layer twos. Uh, it's not really my game. You know, Polygon has been super interesting to many people. Uh, I get it. Um, I'm not invested. I don't, one. I don't know enough about the layer twos to really have a position on it apart from, yeah, let's watch, see how it goes. But speed is something that people need to solve for, speed and cost, and layer twos solve speed and cost. So, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see how the game plays out. Maybe that's the big game in town for this cycle is the layer twos, quite possibly. But I'm just not up to speed enough really to make an informed decision. You know, Bitcoiners will say, well, this is why we should never use it. Well, Bitcoin can remain Bitcoin, and that's absolutely fantastic because it is steady state. But here's a, 
I want my technology to also perform and I want it to adapt as circumstances adapt. And in this massive distributed network of developers that can help develop these ecosystems further, good. And if they fail, they fail and their token goes down because of it. So they're highly incentivized not to screw it up. Won't mean that they won't. Some decisions made will be wrong. And that's okay. That's all part of the risk of investing. Think about where adoption is going to come from. Think about the next billion people. Mm. And, you know, I think it's around culture that I've talked about. It's about social tokens. It's around other uses of NFTs that isn't the same old stuff that's going around and around and around and around with PFPs. I think it's around ticketing. You know, contracts, high volume contracts. That's where the big scale comes in here. Any high volume contract, whatever that is, I would look at that. Yeah, I noticed that. Don't try and build another wallet because there's like a thousand people trying to build wallets and don't try and build another Discord. It's like another 18,000 people trying to build another Discord. So, you know, don't go for the obvious. Go for a specific thing and say, you know, this would be better on blockchain. Crypto industry, much like we don't think of the internet industry. It'll be so interwoven within the fabric of what we understand the internet to be today that we will start to be thinking about the metaverse integration of all of this so it just becomes the layer on top of the internet and we we won't think of it in those terms i'm not even sure we're using the terminology nfts you know you know remember when we first had internet we'd hear that sound of the dial-up modem we never expected that not to be true but it's not you just don't know all this stuff you know in the end it just just becomes integrated and part of stuff we won't go oh that's built on blockchain like much like we don't say that's built in whatever code language we, we don't know or care so i don't think we'll care in the end it'll just be so that's when it's of massive size you won't know that securities then settle instantaneously around the world 24 7 365 you won't go look it's a you know it's a it's a cryptocurrency thing no it's just because we're using the technology so think of it more of a technology that gets applied and unlike other technologies accrues value for everybody literally everything we do in life is a contract i mean you and me to appear today together is a verbal contract hey ash will you be there at this time yes i'll be which is nick and Brian. but um but we do but everything is a contract in life and once you start seeing the world in those terms you realize that so many of these can be automated and automated contracts mean higher velocity of money um, less friction less intermediary costs all sorts of stuff in ways that we can't imagine what about real estate i even asked this question to john Wu from uh, um, ava labs yesterday today i can't remember when um, and it'll be out in Real Vision next week, probably. Um, the answer is yes, it's already happening. Yes, it's really slow because you have an existing legal system. So what you're trying to do is take out lawyers. Well, they don't really want to be taken out. Notaries, banking, all sorts of people need to buy into this. So you could do single one-off transactions amongst a group of investors, but to make this at scale, it takes time. It is absolutely going to happen but it's not going to happen instantaneously. About a year and a half ago, I was probably down to about six, five hours, but I'm trying to be better. So I, try, I don't take my iPad to bed anymore. You know, so you don't sit there scrolling bloody Twitter and price feeds and stuff. I try and read my Kindle instead and stuff like that. So I, I'm actually trying to make sure I get eight hours because it's too exhausting. I'm doing too many things and uh, just having a better night's sleep helps you a lot. I know it's a flippant thing, right? Every kind of Sahil Bloom on Twitter 